Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my video. So today we guys five insane Satori Rengoku combos. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, click on more. Let's get right to the video, guys. All right, so for the first combo, all you're gonna need is any Fate Second Mode Shindai Red and Satori Rengoku. Now, you don't actually need Dune's Fate Fate Two. You don't need any of the Second Mode of the actual Fates, but it makes it a lot easier to do this combo. All right, so what you guys want to do is start off with the Fate. So in just in case they're blocking, so you can break their block, run up, do a full M1 combo. Make sure to have your throwables out beforehand. Do a throwable into Shindai Red first i mean shindai red first do another full m1 combo into shindai red first ability run up do another full m1 combo into shindai red first ability i mean i shouldn't i run satori run first ability another full m1 combo into satori run first ability and then another full m1 combo and it will actually be a one shot now i'm gonna do that again i'm gonna move the satori red ability to my q key because i'm not used to it being on my ad because i'm not used to it being on my six key all right, so like I said before, you want to start off with Dune's Fate Z-Spec. After the Z-Spec, you want to run up and do a full M1 combo on them. So full M1 combo. Use the throwable. Immediately, you shouldn't die red. I mean, Satori red first move. Then you guys want to do another full M1 combo. Wait. You want to hit him with Satori red. I missed. But you actually do want to hit him with that. And then you guys want to use Satori red again. Do another full M1 combo. Hit him with Satori red again. And then you guys want to do another full M1 combo. And that will actually be a one-shot. And make sure to land all of Satori red first ability. And if you do that, it would actually be very easy. Because it is a stun ability. Alright, so next up I'm show you guys is going to be Ghost Karashi, Satori Red, and Ember Hurricane. To, to use this combo, you're obviously going to need Ember Hurricane. Alright, so you are going to have to be motored up for this one. Alright, so for this combo, you guys want to use Ghost Karashi first ability. Immediately use Satori Red first ability. Then you guys want to do a full M1 combo with them. Use Satori Red first ability on them. Run up, do a full M1 combo with them. Satori Red first ability. Run up, do another full M1 combo. Then you guys want to use Satori Red first ability again. And after you do the next full M1 combo, you guys want to go into Ember Hurricane and then do another full M1 combo. And they will be dead, guys. Alright, so like I said before, you want to start off with Ghost Karashi first ability, immediately use Satori Ren first ability, do a full M1 combo to Satori Ren first ability, and you guys want to do another full M1 combo to Satori Ren first ability, run up, do another full M1 combo, Satori Ren first ability them, run up, do another full M1 combo, and then you guys want to Ember Hurricane on them. After the Hurricane, it will just take another M1 combo and they will be dead. This is a very strong combo, just like the Shindai Ren first one. Alright, so next cover you guys gonna be Light Jokai Satori Red. Use the combo you guys need Shiver Chidori, Seco Storm, Ember Hurricane, Demonic Spirit, and any stun weapon. Alright, guys, so for this combo, you guys wanna start off with the C spec and the Seco Storm. After Seco Storm, you guys wanna use Shiver Chidori. After Sh Shiver Chidori, you wanna use uh, Satori Red first ability into the Demonic Spirit, into the third ability. Then you guys just wanna pretty much just spam the first ability of Satori Red. Make sure you get all three procs in, all three procs. And you guys wanna use any stun weapon into Ember Hurricane. And after the Ember Hurricane, you can just M1 a few times and they will actually be dead. Alright, so like I said before, you guys want to use the C-Spec of Light Jokai into Senko Storm. After Senko Storm, you guys want to use Shiver Chidori into Satori Ren first ability. You guys want to immediately use Demonic Spirit into Light Jokai third ability. And then you guys pretty much just want to spam Satori Ren's first ability. After you get three procs in, which would be the amount that you can actually get in, you guys want to use Sabru Tanto on them into Ember Hurricane. And after Ember Hurricane, you guys can actually just M1 and they will be dead, like I said before. Alright guys, so next cover is going to be Bubble, Go to Jokai, and Satori Ren. Use cover, you're going to need Acid, Second Ability, Combo Breaker, Ember Hurricane, and Thread Blade. Alright, so how you want to start this off by using Satori Ren's Second Ability while they're actually comboing you. After they do that, you actually will be able to use Bubble Second Ability into Combo Breaker. Then you guys want to use Acid's Second Ability into Go to Jokai's Third Ability. After Go to Jokai's Third Ability, you guys want to actually Thread Blade them in. Do 3M1s into Ember Hurricane. And after Ember Hurricane, you want to do 3M1s into Air Combo. And it will actually be a one shot. I'll do that again for you guys. Alright, so like I said before, this is going to be a counter combo where you want to wait until the clones hit them. After the clones hit them, you guys want to use Bubble Bubbles ability into Combo Breaker. And then you guys want to use Acid second ability into Light Jokai's third ability. After Light Jokai's third ability, not Light Jokai, not Light Jokai Golden Jokai's third ability ends. 3M1s, Ember Hurricane. After Ember Hurricane, you guys want to actually do 3M1s into Air Combo. Now, they actually died early this time. It depends on when Acid and Bubble procs. If it procs sooner, they will die. If it procs later, they won't die. Until you do the air combo. Alright guys, so the next combo is going to be Satori Ren and Pika 3rd. To use this combo, you guys need Ember Hurricane, Combo Breaker, and MMA. Alright, so to do this combo, you guys want to wait until Satori Ren's second ability actually stuns them. After it stuns them, you guys want to use Pika 3rd ability. Immediately use MMA after it ends. After it ends, you guys want to do another full M1 combo on them. So another full M1 combo. Then you guys want to use Ember Hurricane. Do 5 and once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you guys want to use Combo Breaker. Do another, do some more M1s, and then you guys want to actually go into air combo and do another M1 combo. Now, I actually missed an M1, but if you do the proper amount of M1s, it will actually kill them. I'll do it one more time for you guys. Now, if you guys can't count your M1s like me, it might help you to put in Spirit Fist at the end, because it will make it a lot easier to do. So, like I said before, you guys would use Satori Red's second ability until it actually stuns them. You guys would use Pick a third ability. After Pick a third ability, you guys would use MMA. Do a full M1 combo on them into Ember Hurricane. 
one, two, three, four, five. And then you guys are going to use Combo Breaker. Do another full M1 combo on them. Into Spear Fist. And as I said before, if you can't count your M1s, just Spear Fist them. But if you can count your M1s, you could take Spear Fist out of it pretty easily. Anyways, guys, that's actually it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Just like so, guys. Bye bye.